Hey guys, do you mix your resin like this? Because if so, you're setting yourself up for a massive disaster. If your resin is full to the very top, full to the brim, then you're going to risk sticky, tacky, squidgy, uncured resin. If the pot you're using is full to the brim, it means you're not going to stir thoroughly, which means your exothermic reaction is not going to initiate correctly. I would always recommend a third of your pot as empty space. This is going to allow you to have a really thorough stir. It's going to allow you to get your hands around the pot and reaching the bottom of the resin without it all spilling and overflowing. If your resin doesn't cure properly, that's because the exothermic reaction has been jeopardised at some point, whether it's too much resin, too much hardener, too much pigment, or not enough space for a really good quality stir. If you find that your resin is curing in some places but not in others, this could be down to the amount of additive you have added but also due to the exothermic reaction. So if you've had too much mixture in your pot when you were stirring, then you haven't allowed the exotherm to get going properly and this is one of the main reasons. We don't see it anywhere online but it is too much in the pot. These can have a well done do because I've just used Apex One Coat to pour this deep mould. How cute is this for Ray's christening? Very excited to give it to Alison. I hope she loves it.